Last year, a young woman named Karen called the Maury Show for help. Karen feared that her marriage was nothing but a sham because he was cheating on her all the time. Watch. Maury, my ugly husband's been poking his crooked little in the front butt of our neighbor, Helen. I'm sorry my wife's a dumb bitch, doesn't know what she's talking about. He's a two-inch cheater, and now I'm stuck with a kid I'm certain is hers. Everyone, please welcome Karen to The Maury Show. When Karen comes to the show, she's looking for the truth. Well, I have all the evidence right here, Maury. As you can see by my rendering, his d used to be as straight as American football. Wow. And now, it's dabbing. Liar, my d is not bent. Do you know that how is, hard it is to try and remove a bent from your normal shape pussy? Missing. All right, fine. So what if my d's got a little band? Oh. So does mine. My d has one, too. Oh, God. You said, no, don't clap for that. You're sick. All you men are sick. Maury, my wife firmly has her head up her ass. Yeah, well, it's further up there than yours ever went, so... <laughs> Let's talk about this particular woman. This f***ing whore who's been stealing my cum. Sperm stealer. <laughs> Karen claimed her now three-year-old daughter, Teresa, is too short to be her daughter. Yeah, look at the height difference, Maury. I would never give birth to this ugly Gremlin, all right? I'm too wholesome. Yeah, with a capital H. Motherfucker, <laughs> the only thing that starts with a capital H is that whore you've been diddling. This is Helen's story. So what if I f***ed her husband? She's lucky I didn't f*** her. If God didn't want me to be a slut, then why'd he make me so good at sucking dick? Joining us from California is Helen. <laughs> fuck you, Helen. Fuck you, Helen. I could smell my husband's ass on your breath. Yeah, you want to smell his sperm too? <laughs> It's bullshit. Helen hopes the results of a DNA test will help put the past behind her. But recently, Helen walked in on Karen being pleasured by one of her own family members. That's not true. No, not true. You f your family, Karen. I would never f a family member. Yeah, well, they certainly wouldn't f you. Have you received oral sex from a family member? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> He was twice removed, but I'll tell you, his wasn't. And that does not prove that that little bastard's my kid. We're going to straighten it all out with the DNA test because we've swabbed everybody in this store. You said that was a COVID test. In the case of three-year-old Teresa, Karen, you are the mother! Karen, Karen. Get your hands off me, Maury. I'm going to talk to your manager. Sweet, this is your child now. Do you understand? Well, I want a divorce now. You understand that? Get it, bitch. That's what you get.